At nagbabalik po kami dito sa inyong volleyball habit na Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference. You're still watching with your your well, your volleyball sweetheart, Meta Jima. Siyempre po, ako po ang inyong lingkod, Sinjin Reyes. Two sets na nga may ang inangat nitong ating Lady Maroons. Yes, ito nga. Lumalamang pa rin talaga sa dulo yung Lady Maroons at kailangan pa ng Lady Red Spikers to keep their composure at humabol pa. Well, nare-reflect din dito sa, sa stats natin with Lady Maroons with 12 attacks compared to the 7 of the Lady Red Spikers in blocks 5 and 5 blocks for the Lady Maroons and wala man lang block yung Lady Red Spikers. I think it, ito nag-reflect yung effectiveness ng place ng Lady Maroons. And well, kahit marami silang enforced errors, nare-reflect, I mean, bumabawi sila sa attacks. At kitang-kita naman natin na napaka-busy ng ating Lady uh, ng ating Lady Maroons over the net. At mga kapamilya, pinapaalalahanan po namin kayo na nagbabalik na po itong si Nito, the Flash Donaire. At kakarpin niya po si Ruben Garcia. So, abangan niyo po yan sa linggo. Yes. And via SNA and of course Sky Cable Pay-Per-View. Like balik, sa, ga sa Game Sense, we'll see kung paano babawi yung Lady Red Spikers. Bago yung bakbaka ng boxing, dito muna tayo sa bakbakang yes, dito muna tayo sa volleyball. Yes, na, na hindi contact sport. Kailing, they go back set to Layog, but that goes long. Yes. But a check is called against the Lady Red Spikers. First blood ang ating Lady Maroons dito. We'll see. Sa tingin mo ba um, makabawi yung ating... Lady Red Spikers. Titingnan natin kung nagising na ba talaga ni Coach Mesho itong ating Lady Red Spikers. Yes. Uh, mukha naman nakangiti ang ating Lady Red Spikers ngayon. So yes, it's really good to keep that positive energy and keep smiling. Ika nga ng coach mo sa Ateneo Lady Eagles noon. Happy, happy. Yes, heart strong rin. Hindi lang basta-basta happy, happy. Dapat magre-reflect rin kung ano yung yung will mo, kagustuhan mo na manalo. But speaking of heartstrong, may mamaya abangan nila after this match ang ating Ateneo Lady Eagles ha kahaharapin ang kanilang former sister team yes. na Lady Stags ng Baste. At bakit nga ba sister team? <laughs> Dahil dating coach din, dating um, sabay naging coach ng Ateneo at ng San Sebastian, si, itong si Coach Roger Curry. Yes, naabutan ko pa yon on my first and second year. We used to train in Baste. Sa, yes, San Sebastian. Balik tayo sa kanilang mga kasama sa NCAA. Lady Red Spikers ahead here by one point. Gray is so, showing some blocking prowess there. This game is really crucial. Alam mong ginugusto talaga ng Lady Maroons makapasok sa semis and hopefully in the finals. Yeah, yan nga, syempre ang goal naman ng bawat team dito. So titingnan natin kung kakayanin pa ba dahil mukhang mahihirapan pa sila in their future matchups as they go to Isa Verai but a crossing violation is called against our Lady Red Spikers. Bante pa ng isa ang ating Lady Red Spikers. We have a tweet here from Tep1998. Watching from Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Hataw pa, Carlos and Molde. Yes, we could see more of Carlos's and Molde spikes in this game. Ayun. Pero nasobrang hata ng paghataw doon si Tots Carlos on that last play. That ball goes long. Just keep tweeting us and use the hashtag PVL on ABS-CBN. We'd love to he hear your thoughts and comments on this match or tweet us. Siyempre, huwag niyo po kalimutan i-tweet ang at ABS-CBN Sports at gamitin ang hashtag na PVL on ABS-CBN. You may also tweet us through our personal handles at Metajima at siyempre at Sinjin Reyes. At siyempre po, kung may personal na katanungan for Metajima, don't forget to use the hashtag AskMe. Yes. At balik tayo dito sa ating Rambulan. That ball doesn't cross. Abante po ng apat na putos dito ang ating Lady Red Spikers. We now have Isa Verai, silver medalist in NCAA 92 Beach Volleyball Tourney with her twin, Ella Verai. 
Dorog turned back by the net. Abate ng limang putos dito ang ating Lady Red Spikers at magbabalik po kami dito after a short break. At nagbabalik po kami dito sa SNA Live. Mata papatod niyo po ang inyong volleyball habit na PVL Collegiate Conference. Ako pa rin po ang inyong likod, Sinjin Reyes. At syempre, kasama ko pa rin po ngayong hapon ay walang iba kung hindi si May Tajima. Yes. And May, I was looking at our tweets of May. At napakaganda rin i-point out, no? Itong tweet ni Isadora, Madam underscore Isadora, na she is watching live from the San Juan Arena. Kaya ay niyayahan din natin yung ating mga kapamilya. Nasamahan tayo dito. Yes, sa mga kapamilya, watch it live. And more, it's more, it feels more, more intense kapag nakikita nila yung action live. And we'll see the support of the different schools. And hindi lang yon mga kapamilya at, iba, ibang, at mga fans na mga players. And hindi lang sila, mga volleyball lovers, sports lovers lang rin. Yeah. Iba, iba rin po yung excitement kasi pag napapanood niyo yung mga palo niyo itong sina Tots Carlos, Cheska, Rakraki, no? yeah, no? tulad on cue, Tots Carlos there, but Buno, there for coverage, Jack Rakin ang sumagot sa kabila, <laughs> Dorog with a drop shot, Becca Cuevas chooses, Yan, Yan Espiritu in the middle, kay Espiritu ulit, Ayel Estaniero, good one hand pick up there, off speed for Becca, they were on, that ball was too low to cross. Yes, nilamanamali lang yung tancha niya sa net and how far she was. Okay, apat na putos ang inahabol naman dito ng ating Lady Maroons for Abante yan para sa ating Lady Red Spikers. Cuevas on the drop shot. Molde was there. Sasagot. Si Ganaban. Yes. Nakita mo ba yung nag-three, parang nag-360 turn pa nun si Seska. <laughs> Flexible tayo dito. Yes, syempre naman. Carlos, pumalo ulit dun may nako, kumahabol na itong ating Lady Maroons. Yes, we'll see kung paano pa sila mas lumamang at tapusin to set na to para makahabol pa. Nice service there from Justin Dorog. Let's see how they can keep up with their lead. Titingnan nga natin. Dorog pa din nasa service line. Buno was there. Becca goes to Spirit to soft touch. That swipe. And nakikita mo ba napapansin mo ba ngayon, Sinch? Na sinisetan na talaga yung medal nila. They utilize their medal para hindi na, para nabantayan na rin. And it's another way of um, making plays para hindi na rin mali, para malito yung kabilang side. Tama nga naman dyan. At pumalo tong si Becca Cueva. Sasagot sa kabila. I see Carlos Olet. Carlos doing back-to-back -back damages here, May. Yes, but you can't really um, sacrifice one skill. Dapat kompleto lahat from offense to defense. Balik tayo sa ating match. Thoughts, Carlos. Go straight to the net on that last play. Yes. Ayan. Three point for our... Lady Red Spikers. Pero tatlong putos po ang abate dito ng Lady Red Spikers. We now have Yanni Espiritu on the service line. Straight to the net, unfortunately. And now, Coach Nemesho Gavino giving instructions on the side and how to block and how to adjust on this game to keep their lead. Itong si Coach Nemesho hindi na mapakali dito sa sideline. Nakatayo na talaga. May pakamot pa sa ulo. Nako. But the girls are really doing their job right now. Mm -hmm. Net touch against Rak Rakin. And that, that's what he doesn't want to happen for this team. That gives a free point to our Lady Maroons. Kaya ngayon isang putos na lang ang lamang nitong ating Lady Red Spikers. We now have number 14, Ayi Ganaban. Sasagot tong si Ella Verai. Tumutuldok tong palo ni Ella Verai. Two point lead for our Lady Red Spikers. Right now, si Ganaban is playing middle. And before, nakikita natin siya as open or utility. The UP players are really flexible. Totoo nga naman yan. Oh, nice coverage there. Doro giving a free ball. Kisa Verai, off speed, touch there, top spin. Molde, marked already. Good coverage from this team. Doro naman, sasagot tong si... Isa Verai pero diretso sa net ang palo ni Verai kaya isa na naman ang puntos isa na lang kailangan habulin dito 
ng ating Lady Maroons. Parang may touch siya ng, sa beach volley experience niya. Top spin lang, kaso kinapos nga lang. At titingnan natin kung babawi ba dito si Isa Vera as she is set up. Soft touch there. Nandun si Kailing. They go to Molde. Soft drop there. Back set kay Ella. Carlos, naging setter na doon. Molde, soft touch. They go to Paras from the middle. Ooh, double contact called against against Kailing and Carlos. Yes. Nagbanggaan sila doon. Hindi nila, walang tawagan ng mind. Yes. Important yun. Kasi sayang naman free point na sana. They can May, keep it up. Sasagot naman. Ah, okay. Balik tayo dito sa ating matchup. Molde. Ang sumagot doon ay si Paras. They go to Isa Varay. She is turned back by the net. And her face say, says it all. Yes, and ayon giving instruction na yung twin niya. Her twin is giving her instructions. They're looking at each other. It's also good to point me another trivia about the Beda team. Itong si Paras. Yes. Number 13, Nix Paras. I rather, Tisha Paras rather, number 13. Galing siya Adamson dati. And she moved to the Lady Red Spikers. You know, like, just like Jessica Rock Rocking, galing rin siyang NU. Well, NU high school. High school, yes, yeah. high school. And, you know, like, they really have the opportunity to choose different teams and play for the schools they want. Siyempre, an ano naman yun eh, part naman yun ng freedom mo yes. as an athlete or as a student athlete. Nabawi na dito ng Lady Maroons ang lead. Abante na po sila dito ng isang puntos as Molde on the service line, number three on serving. Oh, she wasn't oh. able to estimate in estimate how the, how fast that ball was and how high it is. Air there for Layog, pero papasok naman tong si Daisy Manuel para kay Trisha Paras. Mukhang service specialist na nga. Um, yes, like she was in the first set. Better serve there. Dorog with a swipe. Kinangat ni Isa Veray kay Rakrakin. Back row play. Wow. Thoughts Carlos, but puto ang sinagot doon ni Daisy Manuel. Layog denied by Beda. Now she was more ready for those attacks, and right now she's really co helping, contributing to the team. And they're now leading. Balik ang lead sa ating, ang abante rather, sa ating Lady Red Spikers. Layog on a running play, but no one home on the side of our Lady Red Spikers. It's nice na pinabawi rin siya ni Rem. Binigay ulit sa kanya through the running attack. At titignan nga natin kung Sino nga ba ang mangunguna talaga dahil palitan na tayo ng putos pagkatapos yes. makalamang ng UP? Mga kapamilya, ano sa tingin nyo ang mangyayari? Like, can tweet us. Using the hashtag PVL on ABS-CBN. At syempre po, itag yes. po ang official account ng ABS-CBN Sports. That's at ABS-CBN Sports. Yes. Dorog with a bomb. You know right now, Sinj, mas lamang, um, no rather, pantay lang ang excellent sets Kailing and Cuevas. Looking at the percentage yes, side on but it. But however, looking at the percentage side, mas lamang si Cuevas with 26.47% compared to Kailing's 26.09. And that's a very interesting take me. Dahil itong si Cuevas, number four, uh, number five rather siya sa setting at number three sa bracket na ito. Well, looking at Kailing, she is number seven naman in sets overall out of the 12. Yes, and I think it, it has to reflect rin yung paano patay ng isang, paano, mak, ano, paano makapatay convert, o mga yes. convert. At kitang-kita naman natin, itong ating Lady Maroons has more firepower compared to our Lady Red Spiders. Or, at titingnan nga natin, dahil nauna naman itong ating Lady Red Maroons sa ating second technical timeout, magbabalik po kami dito sa any life.
At nagbabalik po kami dito sa PVL Collegiate Conference. Nanonood pa rin po kayo kasama ng inyong lingkod, Sinjin Reyes. At syempre, ng aking partner dito na si Mary May Tsajima. Yes, and it's now getting more exciting. Kasi naman kanina, lumamang na yung Lady Red Spikers. Pero ngayon, ang ating Lady Maroons naman ang umaabante dito. May palitan lang ng abante dito sa ating third set. May parang kakaiba na yung kwento dito sa third set. Too. Pero hindi pa rin tapos dyan. Hindi pa rin natatapos kasi nag, ano, nag-iiba rin ng diskarte ang Lady Maroons just to win the set. At titingnan nga natin kung ano or paano magtatapos rather itong ating third set. Yes. We now have Maris Blayog on the service line. Cuevas chooses Espiritu on the middle. Free ball ang ibibigay ni Tots Carlos. Pumunta sila kay Isa Veray on the path of play per basak-basa ng ating Lady Maroons. Yes, and the lead is getting bigger now with three points. Yeah, titignan natin kung makakahabol pa ba dito ang ating Lady Red Spikers. We still have Maris Layog on the service line. Easy pick up for Rock Rockin. Yun naman. Drop ball na. Pumupuntos na tong si yes. Becca. Parang nag-ano lang sila. Pautakan na lang rin to. We'll see kung paano sila nila i-outsmart ang isa't isa. Isa Veray with that serve. Soft touch from Ganaban. Parang balikan lang. Nasa zone zero. Yung nilalagay ng mga spikers or setter. Pag sinabi natin yung zone zero, may yan ba yung likod ng yun yung mga sa spikers? May gitna. Sa may gitna. Sa may kung saan andun si Buno. At yan nga yung target minsan, yung donut yes. hole na pinatawag. Kasi nagkakatininginan usually yung mga players. Masyadong, masyadong gitna kasi. Yes. Hindi mo alam kung saan pakunta. Pero sa training, dapat ipapractice rin yun kung sino o kung anong spot yung makukuha mo. At apat na putos na po ang abante dito ng ating Lady Maroons. Kaya itong si Coach Mesha napilitan ng tumawag ng timeout dito sa panig ng ating Lady Red Spikers. So, Tingnan natin kung magigising pa ba ang itong ating Lady Red Spikers or magtutuloy-tuloy na ba ang pagratsyada ng ating Lady Maroons. Justine Dorog on the service line. Three point ang binigay ni Dorog on that last service. Becca Cuevas, alam naman natin sharp ang service nitong si Becca. Titignan natin kung magtutuloy siya. Sharp serve there for Becca Cuevas. Buno na ang nag-set up para kay Ella Veray. And a touch is called against UP. Dalawang putos na lang po ang hinahabol dito ng ating Lady Lady Red Spikers. Inangat ni Carlos. Nice save there from Tots Carlos. Yes. And then we see Isa Molde to get that cross back. Good digging here from our Lady Maroons. Surprisingly, number seven lang itong Maroons sa digging. Her number one sir seems pero Carlos ang pumatay nung last play na yon. Tatlong putos po ang abate dito ng ating Lady Maroots. Carlos, yes. ooh, serve go straight on the net. Balik tong si Parasalob, papasok naman tong si China Tanagan para mag-service kay Coach Mesho. Yes. Dalawang putos ang hinabol dito ng ating Lady Red Spikers. Sobrang dami pang pwedeng mangyari dito. And nakita naman na natin yan time and time again. Molde. That block hits the antenna. Me. Yes, and she ends up with a smile on, that, on her spike. Alam mong contento na patapos na and she's she keeps scoring. And the uh, antenna na yan, yan talaga yung mga hindi mo na makokontrol, di ba? Yes. And that, as long as pumwesto ka lang ng mabuti, and 
Some paminsan check out na lang rin ginagamit rin yung antenna to against the other player. Rakiraki ng huling sumalo ng dalawang beses, but that second touch works for Rakiraki. No one did the coverage for the team. We'll see kung paano pa nila ipush till the 25 or babawi till 25 ang lady Red, Red Spikers. Nakakaloko din kasi itong off-speed ni Cheska Rakiraki. Yes, it's a, it's a killer point. Balik si Jess Maramos dito para kay Coach Kate Delara. There's no time to commit errors for the Lady Red Spikers. Kailing on the service. Nice floater. Inangat ni Becca sa gitna for Isa Verai. They go to Dorog off the net. No one home on the side of our Lady Red Spikers. And teammate ba rin nila yung net? Tinulungan lang sila ng ano. Well, the power of that spike was good enough na pumasok yung bola. And that works for our Lady Maroons as they're two points away from closing the set out. Pero bilog ang bola, may titignan natin kung magtutuloy-tuloy ba itong stick ng ating Lady Maroons or babawi ba dito ang ating Lady Red Spikers with a four-point deficit. Yes. Balik dito ang players ni Coach Mesho at ni Coach Kate. And uh, ang mag-service ngayon ay si Kailing, Rem Kailing. Nagaling din palang Bacolod. Oh, ah, rather, Iligan, rather. Oh. So, Bisaya rin Bisaya din, din to. Malapit sa inyo. Ayan, yes. Carlos, closing out. We are now at the first match point advantage for our Lady Maroons. Kailing pa din ang nasa service line. Nice serve. Becca, they go to Ella Verai. Coverage was there. Rock Rocket chooses Isa Verai, and that goes through the block. They're still alive to keep this match and para makabawi pa ng isang set. Boy pa ang ating Lady Red Spikers. Ella Verai on the service line. We'll see we, how they can convert it to points. Very costly error there on the side of our Lady Red Spikers. Tumama sa net pero kulang ng power kay hindi nakalusot. Kaya nakuha na ng ating Lady Maroon ang kanilang pangatlong panalo dito sa Collegiate Conference. At yes. ika nga nitong mga fans ng, U ng UP sa likod, nowhere to go but up. Yes. Yes naman. And full support sila yes, to their teams. At titignan natin tatlong sets. It only took UP three sets to win this game with 25-16, 25-19, at 25-20 dito sa last set. We have more chance to win, to get into the semi-finals. At titignan nga natin, pero bago tayo magkalimutan, May, sa ating pagbabalik, we will be having our Player of the Game interview only here on the SNA Live Stream. At nagbabalik po kami dito sa Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference. Ako pa rin po ang inyong lingkod, Sinjin Reyes. At kasama ko pa rin po si Mate, Mate Jima. Si Mate Jima. At syempre, May, kasama natin ang ating, ang ating player of the game. Sino nga ba ito, May? Yes, si, ang player of the game natin ay si Rem Kailing. Yes, Rem. At congratulations, Rem, Thank for you. winning your matchup for today. But, pero Rem, Bago tayo magkalimutan, naalala mo, nung third set, napansin ko, nangunguna doon yung ating Lady Red Spikers. Ano ang ginawa ng team nyo para makabawi? Uh, kasi nung una, parang, parang, parang confident na kami na kami yung mag, maglalamang. Tapos, biglang nag-relax nag kami. Tapos, nung nalamangan na kami, sinabi lang namin na back to basic na lang kami. Tapos, ano, adjust sa first ball. Tapos, kung set adjust. At kitang-kita naman natin na nag-adjust nga itong ating Lady Maroons. At kaya nga nakuha nila yung third set niya. Yes, May and for my question, unsa ang feeling na first six na ka and kasi si Ayel naging libera na? Uh, sir, masarap sa feeling kasi ako yung binigyan ng, ng trabaho sa court. Uh, ma malaking responsibilidad pero kaya naman. Uh, sa akin lang, dapat consistent lang. Tapos hindi, dapat 
ano, hindi ma-down. Yes. Dapat magbigay ng maayos. Dapat parang hindi, parang hindi mawala dun sa rotation. Yes, uh, and alam nyo ba, bisaya yung question ko kasi from Iligan naman si Rem. At yun, at speaking of Iligan, Rem, baka may gusto kang batiin ng mga kapamilya mo at kapamilya natin na nanonood sa ating UP Lady Maroons. Uh, binabati ko po yung family ko sa Iligan, yung... <laughs> Tapos yung nanay, uh, mama ko sa Cagayan de Oro, Taguanao. Ate ko sa Kuwait and Germany and dad ko sa Kuwait. Thank wow. you. Hindi lang, hindi lang local yung mga binati ni Rem ngayon. May pa-international. Yes, pati. ganun yung TBL. Yes. At maraming salamat Rem sa pagsama sa amin dito. Congratulations. Thank dahil you. Dahil napakaganda ng pinakita mong performance. Mga kapamilya, up next po ay ang matchup sa pagitan ng ating Ateneo Lady Eagles at ng kanilang rival for today. Walang iba kundi ang San Sebastian Lady Stags. Yan po ay sasamahan po kayo dyan ni Cassie at ni Pia right after this match. On behalf of everyone here on the live stream panel and of course, Rem Kailing and my partner for today, no other than Meta Jima. Maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa amin dito sa Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference. Magbabalik po ang SNA live stream with more volleyball action.